Since DeAndre Swift arrived in Philadelphia, everyone from his coaches, teammates, and media members have been touting his receiving ability. The Eagles gave us a glimpse of what their plan is with him in their preseason game against the Colts. Twice, the Eagles ran their tailback out of the backfield while setting a pick for him to get open. While neither of these plays involved DeAndre Swift, you can tell that they put them in the playbook for him. Going back to last year, the Eagles only ran Miles, Gainwell, or Boston Scott on wheel routes a combined two times, and both of those plays, they were secondary options against zone coverage. They weren't being set up with a rub route from their teammate, like we see here. Let's look at the play design. The Eagles are running this play with 11 personnel out of a trips formation with the tight end flexed out on the backside. The running back is lining up weak, so now there's two receiving threats to that side of the field. The play they're running is designed to attack man coverage and the quarterback, tight end, and running back probably checked into this play pre-snap once they recognize they were getting man coverage from the defense. On both plays, Tyree Jackson does a good job creating traffic to run through for the linebacker matched up with the running back. He makes sure to attack the upfield shoulder of the linebacker Backer, ensuring that he runs underneath his rub route and taking away his angle to stay on top of the wheel route. In the end, both passes could have been thrown better. Trey Sermon should have had a much bigger gain, but he had to turn around to make the catch. By running this from a trips formation, the Eagles should be able to get swift one-on-one -on -one opportunities against man coverage looks. Defenses use a variety of tactics to combat trips formations. One of the most popular ways to defend trips is to have the corner and weak side linebacker play man coverage on the receiver and running back, respectively, while having the rest of the defense focus on the three receivers to the trips side. This lets the defense play 5 over 3 if they aren't sending a blitz. By running this play out of trips, they are giving themselves better odds that they will see man coverage backside. Putting the tight end as a single receiver also helps the offense identify man coverage as well, based on who comes out to cover him. Not only that, having a bigger body is better for getting in the way during the rub route. You can start to envision the progression of this formation and play setup. When teams start to overplay wheel routes by Swift out of the backfield, the Eagles can come back with angle routes to take advantage of DeAndre's effortless ability to change directions. Now, this isn't the only way that teams will play trips. This is a play from the Lions and Commanders game from last season. Instead of playing man coverage on the backside of trips, the Commanders are playing quarters across the board, except now they are using their weak safety and corner to bracket the receiver. This still leaves the linebacker in man coverage against the running back. I expect that teams will eventually get into more match type coverages to limit the wheel route. For example, the defense can run a coverage where the corner and linebacker are reading the release of the receiver. If the receiver goes inside and underneath right away, then the linebacker will take the receiver as he runs inside, and the corner will get his eyes to the running back, taking him a few releases outside. Now of course, there are plays the Eagles can run to counter that look, but you get the point. Having a guy like Swift and Goddard lined up on the same side of the field can present problems for defenses. There will be a lot of opportunities for the Eagles to design routes to isolate a defender in coverage and make him decide between covering Goddard deep or Swift underneath. Adding Swift to this offense is going to unlock a whole new segment of their passing game. The last thing I want to touch on with this play is the alignment of their personnel. By having a tight end occupy the single receiver side, the Eagles can now get a wide receiver matched up with the linebacker or safety in coverage. The play we're watching has guys lined up at receiver that won't be on the team, but imagine for a moment that this is AJ Brown lined up as a number three receiver and Devontae in the slot. Or AJ can be in the slot running the fade and Devontae can be underneath using his quick change of direction skills to break off linebackers. I've got this play up with 11 personnel right now, but think about if they came out in 12 personnel with let's say Grant Calcaterra, the defense will be in a bind because the Eagles can get into plays and formations to take advantage of whatever the defense throws at them. Do they come out in base personnel? Well, then there's gonna be some mismatches in the passing game. Do they come out in nickel packages? It's tough to ask a defense to go light against one of the best rushing attacks in the game. This particular formation and use of alignment can also be good against popular Fangio defenses. The Lions used this formation against the Eagles last year to get a safety matched up on a wide receiver with a free release by having a wide receiver aligned as a number three. One can only wonder how much damage a guy like Devonta Smith can do with these type of alignments. While this is only preseason, the Eagles have a history of tipping their strategy during preseason games. Let's look back to 2021. The Eagles are playing the Steelers in the preseason, and this was the game that had everyone excited for a Quez Watkins breakout due to this play where he took a screen 79 yards to the house. What caught my eye though was this play from the Eagles. First and 10, backed up on their own two yard line, and they took a deep shot to Quez. The Eagles just missed on this play, and honestly, it's probably a good thing. 
Flash forward to week two, and they're playing the 49ers. Again, it's first and 10, and they're backed up on their three yard line. And again, they take a shot to Quez, but this time it works. The preseason isn't just a time to evaluate the players and depth of your roster, it's also a time to test new plays. I don't think the Eagles breaking this play out twice against the Colts was for no reason. They wanted to see the play in action and see if they needed to tweak anything or make coaching points. This is going to be a play and formation that we see a lot of this year. Don't be surprised when you see DeAndre Swift taking a wheel route to the house.